Do I got a style for you? Oh yeah, that look good for me. Alright y'all, so we back with another YouTube video. Y'all finna see just how my girl does my retwist and uh, how she washes my hair. So, with that being said, enjoy the video. Alright y'all, so I'm just going to go ahead and put his hair up to a ponytail so that I can drape him. To start off, I am going to be putting a detox in his hair. I'm going to be using this Seabreeze. It is just an astringent for skin, scalp, and nails. And I'm going to spray that on his hair with my water spray bottle. You can make sure that you actually you drench his hair. If you feel better, you can do this over a sink. Now I'm just gonna massage his scalp just to kind of massage the product into his hair. And then we're going to put the plastic cap on and let that sit for 10 minutes. Hey Siri, set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes starting now. We're going to be using the Melanin Shampoo and Conditioner Duo. And that will also be the retwisting product that I'm going to be using in his hair as well. Alright y'all, so now we are at the shampoo ball. We're just going to take this off and I'm going to show you guys. His hair actually started to get clean as we were putting it on, so that's perfect. And we're just gonna get to shampooing. All right, y'all, so we are back from the shampoo bowl. His hair is so soft. So we're gonna go ahead and put his hair into four sections. And now we're just gonna get to the retwisting process. And so I'm gonna go ahead and start, and then I'll come back to you guys and show you 
what I'm doing, all right? So we are on the last section of the four and I wanna go ahead and show you guys what I do. So taking the clip out, I'm going to go ahead and give me the fur twist that I'm gonna start off with. And don't be scared to pull that hair apart, get that section right. With this first twist, I'm going to put some of my product on there for his hair. I'm just using conditioner just because they are on the finer side. It's one of water-based conditioner. Once I feel like that's good, you can take your comb and you can comb it a little bit. You just want to make sure that it's good like you want it to be. And y'all, we are doing the palm roll method. There are other methods. So the palm roll, you just put the twist in between your palms and you roll. And once I see that that is tight enough for me, I'm going to take my clip and I am just going to clip that in. And just like that, we have the twist done. So showing you guys that again, I'm just going to get my section off. I'm gonna put some conditioner on there. I'm gonna comb that conditioner in just a little bit. Again, water soluble. We don't want heaviness because it will make the hair more dirty than it needs to We're going to separate those two, put the lock in between my palms and roll. And then put the clip on. And I'm just gonna do that to the rest of his head, you guys, so enjoy. And that is the retwist. All the twists are, I mean, all the locks are retwisted. All right, so the style that we're going to be doing today will be barrel twist. He is just going to get four barrel twists. I'm going to do this side as I'm doing right now, and then I'm going to show you the next side and how I do and what I do.
All right, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I do. So I'm gonna start with the first half. So of course, the first thing you wanna do is actually just get your sections off. It's going to be two on this side, making that four in total. Taking the first two that's gonna be at the top, I'm taking those clips out, and then I'm going to twist them up like you would just a regular twist. Make sure that you twist it in the direction that you want it to go because that's gonna help you when you're doing your barrels. And this is just the start of the barrel. This is the anchor braid. I'm taking the clips off as I go just to kind of keep the tightness just there for the most part. All I'm doing is wrapping the hair around each other. There's really nothing to it but to do it with this you guys. Don't overthink it. Just wrap the hair. Wrap it as many times as you need to. You know your client because you're looking at their hair. Whatever you think you need to do. However many times you feel like you need to wrap that piece of hair around there you can. If you only need to wrap it around once only do it once. If you need to wrap it around 50 11 times do that. I'm just going to try to go back and forth with the locks as much as I can but again don't think about it too hard you want to go this way and then you want to go this way here I see that it's more on the at the top so that being said I'm going to be taking it from my left to my right more times than I will from my right to my left just because there's more pieces of hair right there it's nothing to it but to do it don't think too hard about it just make it look good that's all we trying to do is make it look good And then I'm going to do the same thing to the back. He's going to have a barrel twist in the back. Taking this clip off, I'm going to do the same thing I did with the one in the front. We're going to twist it up and make sure you make it in the twist in the direction that you're going. That's going to be very crucial. I do rubber band at the end. I do not rubber band while I'm doing it because I want to. I have to double check with my client, make sure that they like it. And once they tell me that they like it, that is when I put the rubber bands in. And then the same thing, you're just gonna go from left to right and right to left, just just, just do it, just do it, y'all. Remember, the more you twist around, the thicker the barrel will be. So if you want a thinner barrel, then you don't twist so much. If you want a thick barrel, then twist a lot, or wrap around, I should say.
So now when you get down to the ends, I know y'all see you got, it's just all over the place. This is where you wanna shorten the barrels. So what I'm just gonna do is y'all see the long scraggly pieces? I'm gonna take the long pieces and I'm gonna start wrapping those around the hair until it gets to the length that I want it to be. And with this, you can go either way you want to. You can take them all the same way. It just depends on the design that you're kind of going for. I just go back and forth with them, honestly, or just, it, again, don't think too hard about it. It don't matter. All right, and then once that's pretty much good for me, I feel like they're all in a good length. I am now going to clip all these together. Here's what we have. Got one here, one here, one here, one here. All right. All right. Now I'm gonna let my client look in the mirror and tell me if he's fine with this. If he says yes, we're gonna put rubber bands on. Oh yeah, that looks good for me. I like this. All right, my client is satisfied, so we're now just gonna go in with the rubber bands, y'all. Annie's, go to the beauty supply store. This is what we got, and this is what we gonna use. You can oil the rubber bands if you feel like you need to. I'm not gonna worry too much about oiling them. I am just gonna probably put like a little bit of conditioner on them. And that's pretty much it, you guys. I thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure if you haven't already to hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. And I hope to catch you in the next video.